We've got another very active period coming up here with our weather. Today, severe weather risk right here across Iowa. We've got the College World Series going on, so watching very closely in Omaha, the forecast here for the potential of severe weather. Plus, uh, in Florida, there's going to be some hit or miss showers and storms here. Can't help it with that front that just sort of gets stuck and then uh, dissipates right over Florida tomorrow. You're not going to see any temperature relief out of that one. But meanwhile, this front is on the move and it's heading through the Ohio Valley tomorrow. It gets into the northeast by late in the day tomorrow, so get ready. There could be more thunderstorms coming your way, watching especially for the U.S. Open there in Ardmore uh, for the potential of storms. If you don't finish up here on time, the end of the day really will be uh, the time to watch for possible storms. And then in parts of Texas, we're mid 90s in Dallas. It's going to be pretty humid out there. Uh, temperatures may not be record breaking, but they're going to be up there mid to upper 90s for you uh, into Monday as well. We track this front as the main weather maker here right through the Tennessee Valley getting into Monday. There'll be some storms in Kentucky uh, by Tuesday. It's back into the south. Southeast, and we've got more thunderstorms coming your way into the Atlanta area. We have to watch this front pretty closely. If it gets stuck and doesn't move a whole lot, we can end up with some heavy rain. And you know that's pretty saturated across the southeast with many, many bouts of heavy rain recently. So that's going to be a concern right into Wednesday. If you're going to cut your grass, do it this weekend because I don't know if you get a lot of chances through the middle of the week with these storm ch chances here into the southeast. You can see that front gets stuck by Thursday in South Georgia, South Alabama. But in the meantime, high pressure building into the northeast. You got a couple of good days looking at ahead to Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, watching this next little system here across the uh, northern Rockies, scooting into the upper Midwest on Friday, the first day of summer, by the way, summer solstice on Friday. And that gets us into the next weekend.